Hey guys, it is Cheesy here, and today I am bringing you a video about the new Nuka World trailer and my kind of impressions on it, as well as talking about its alleged file size. With Nuka World coming out on August 30th and being the last Fallout 4 DLC, it has a lot of expectations to be good. Automatron, Wasteland Workshop, Far Harbor, Contraptions, and vault Workshop were nothing at all really that great. I personally enjoyed Far Harbor the most simply because you had a bit of choice in the quest line and that there were simply new quests. Even Far Harbor though wasn't really mind-blowingly amazing. Fall 4 has to go with a bang and honestly, in my opinion, it looks like Nuka World will accomplish this. The trailer made me really hyped for it and the new weapons, locations, and creatures look really nice. Besides my impressions, I also want to talk about how Nuka World reportedly has a larger file size than Far Harbor. Uh, before Far Harbor came out, it was advertised as having one of the largest landmasses in a Bethesda DLC that's ever been seen, and this was really emphasized. However, Nuka World's file size is apparently a whole gigabyte bigger than Far Harbor's. According to Gaming Bolt, the Steam database entry, which kind of has like information on every game that's coming or has come to Steam, uh, its entry for Nuka World is, has it listed as 3.7 gigabytes compared to Far Harbor's 2.7 gigabytes. Nuka World's file size hasn't been confirmed or anything, but I honestly hope this is true. While Far Harbor's map was big, uh, it had less than 10 hours of content, and so in the Nuka World trailer, for example, I saw just as many new creatures, weapons, and armor than Far Harbor had, so if Nuka World can deliver on Questline, then I think it could live up to the expectation that players have. A good quest line with at least eight hours of content uh, on the main quest line, which Far Harbor had when I in my first playthrough, uh, plus hopefully extra content like raiding settlements, in my opinion, will add up to a really good DLC. Right now, my biggest concern for Nuka World would be raiding if raiding settlements is like the exact opposite of Preston Minutemen stuff. For example. What if it was like, another settlement needs your help, versus another settlement needs to be raided? Radiant quests kind of ruined a lot of parts of Fallout 4 for me, and so I hope that it doesn't ruin Nuka World. But that is pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment on what you think Nuka World should be like, and what you thought of this trailer in the comments. And make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Fallout 4 content. But for, once again, guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you later. Bye.